Welcome or welcome back and I need help with C square. In this example, we get a look to find the perimeter and the area of triangle ABC. And I'm going to start to area, okay? Area of triangle ABC, right? So what do we have a formula for you? Yeah, it's right here, 1 over 2 base times height. The only problem is, I mean, if it is a problem, to find the base and the height. And whenever you have a rectangular grid, you may want to look for easy ways. See, this is the base. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The base is 5. Now, what about the height? At the height, again, we have an easy one. This one, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? The height is 4. So, we kind of finish with the area. Area will be 1 over 2 times 5 times 4. That will be 10, right? 10 unit, square units, be sure. Okay? What about the perimeter? For the perimeter, again, you, you may have, you may want to start with the easy one. Okay? The easy one, obviously, is this AC, right? This AC is 5. We need to find how long AB is and BC. So, for that reason, we can use some right triangle. Or we can use the distance formula. This is 4, this is 3, right? So, we have a triangle that is 4 and 3. Right triangle. And we need to find DC, which is AB in our case. Uh, so, we have A square plus B square equals C square. So, we're going to have 4 square plus 3 square equal c squared. 16 plus 9 equals c squared. c squared equals 25 and c will be 5. Okay, that is a b. Now, I would like you to point on these 3, 4, and 5. These, these are special, special uh, numbers that works for these right triangles. We call Pythagorean triplet, by the way. And these are the classic ones. What about BC? Right? Let's take a look to BC. The BC we can use a similar approach. You notice this is a right triangle and this is 4, this is 2, right? So, okay, uh, 4 and 2, right triangle, again, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So, we have what? 4 squared plus 2 squared equals C squared. That will be 16 plus 4, right, equals c squared. That will be 20 equals c squared and c squared of 20. Can we simplify this? Oh, yeah, 4 times 5 is 20 and squared of 4 is 2. Okay, 2 squared of 5, that is how much a b c is, sorry. Okay. And now we can find the perimeter. Right, the perimeter means you add all the sides, AB plus BC plus AC. So in our case, it would be what? Uh, AB is 5, right? BC, BC is 2 squared root of 5, and AC is the one we start with, 5. So the final answer for the perimeter will be 10 plus 2 square root of 5. If you need to evaluate this, you grab a calculator and evaluate and approximate if that is the case. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-squared. Thank you.